the wall rug I made uh, a year ago, I think, and it, there's a girl hanging herself, but of course it's like colorful as many of my works and I, there were some uh, feedbacks and opinions <laughs> saying that like this is, there's nothing to make fun of and I'm thinking like, I'm not making fun of it. Like, why do you think I'm making fun of it? Just because it's like colorful work. If it was black and white, some sketch, would you think I'm making fun of it? Probably not. So, um, yeah, like colorful, melancholy, but there's a bit humor, I think. Like, that's how I would, again, describe my own work. I'm Deniz, I'm a rug maker from Turkey, living in Uvascula at the moment. I'm a Bachelor of Law, is that how you say it? Yeah, I'm, I was supposed to be some like lawyer or something. <laughs> and um, I was not accepted to the, to the master's program I applied after I moved to Finland. So um, that meant that I had a one year of uh, void <laughs> waiting for me. So I just start, started uh, making like small ruse out of boredom, to be honest. And then um, after that, it started like, um, I think my st style started getting, not style maybe, but the work I do at least started getting more distinctive and more... Um, I don't know, like something else, I guess, than what I did when I started. The exhibition in Muntotila is, it's called Ruyut Lähte Lapasesta, and it means like Ruyus got out of hand. And I think it's kind of fits the theme of my medium in general and the whole concept of the, of the rugs I make. So that's that. There will be like different themes, but one of the uh, themes I'm really excited about, there will be like a rug puzzle and there will be like five or four rug pieces that are like, how can I say, like not engraved, but like they fit to e they fit each other like a puzzle. And it's the first time I'm gonna showcase that somewhere so I'm really excited about that and how I'm wondering how the installation is going to be for that but I'm a little bit worried about it but uh, I bet it's gonna turn out to be just fine and also for the people who go and see I think like it doesn't matter with what intention I did the work or what like it's it's just what you think and what you uh, understand matters that's what I want what I want to say and uh, maybe please do write your feelings to the uh, guest uh, book if possible so that uh, I want to hear like how it makes people feel and what people get from it to be honest there are these themes that I have been like struggling to understand and uh, themes that started uh, topics that started making more sense uh, after I moved to Finland for example like this uh, concept of gender or uh, the fact that you know everyone has to have a child and like that's basically the norm and just again like I'm not sure if we even have free will, if that even exists, but I feel like after moving to Finland, or maybe that's because I'm, my age is like, I'm slightly older. Uh, like, I feel like I'm getting my voice back in that sense. So the themes on the rugs and on the illustrations are just things that are like bugging me, uh, things that, go through my head and yeah, like maybe even unhappy thoughts that is transferred to the uh, fabric and made into a rug in a humorous way, maybe. 
like I definitely have a problem with the fact that, for example, the president of uh, Turkey constantly like bashes uh, queer people <laughs> from his speeches. Like I definitely have an issue with that with many other uh, like many other people in Turkey. And um, that's some that is a team theme, for example, for me, like it's inevitable because like it's just still a part of you and it's still happening and when everything is so different here like politic wise especially and when you when i just look to my home country it just makes me so sad and it just as i said just bugs me it's just it's there so it's just it's in my mind also all the time like these kind of stuff not only this not only lgbtiq plus rights but <sighs> yeah i don't necessarily think that my work is necessarily feminist or political but it's again inevitably uh, it is that way because in turkey especially in Turkey, like anything regarding women at this point is political. So that's how I would describe this. But like, that's my opinion about my own work. But um, yeah, like a confused females or confused humans that have like female bodies. Like, yeah, but that's was at least the theme that I had a lot last year least. I just hope that this uh, textile art and punching and tufting it gets more pop popular and valid in the contemporary art world because like I see this um, prejudice uh, saying for example when I had a conversation with a person that works in a uh, in one of the museums in Uvascula uh, I had a feedback saying like, ah, oh, maybe you should just apply to the handcrafts museum, like as an exhibition and so on. Like, it's just, uh, I will apply wherever I want. <laughs> I mean, it's like, you, please do not degrade my like work just because it's textile and so on. And well, I'm not saying anything about crafts. Like, it's just craft museum. It's lovely, but I mean, this sort of feedback, it's like. I am sensing that this is still not really accepted as uh, like a serious medium, like rug making. There used to be maybe uh, landscapes and flowers and plants and ruyus, you know, the kind of old ruyus. But now it's there's something really <clears throat> satisfying to be able to like, I don't know, like create dicks and dildos from the same tufting weaving techniques so yeah